Welcome to SQL Server Denali, always on next generation HADR solution. Um, and this series of video, you will be learning how to create a Hyper-V test lab, which allows you to validate SQL Server Denali CTP1 features. In case you have not visited the part one and part two, please check my other YouTube videos to go through them. For some of the basic configurations and this video will be preparing the nodes for failover cluster as you can see vm2 and vm3 are the one we'll be working on today uh, these are the ip addresses as you can see 111.21 compared to 11.111 and that becomes the dns address for it and the same 11.1.1.22 is the IP for the second node. Let's start the configuration. So here I'm on the machine where we'll be configuring. Let's start the ser server manager. As you can see, we're on work group 11.1.1.21, 12.1.1.21 is the RDP NIC, and I also have a storage NIC configured here, which is not actually needed. Uh, this is the standard. Uh, prototype I have for all my VMs and maybe you would like to know that these are the standard softwares I installed before do anything and then I you do the sys prep to make the image and that becomes your um, master image for all these VMs make sure to do the sys prep otherwise you will uh, you if otherwise if you just copy and paste the folders or VHD files they'll not be unique and you'll have issues adding them to domain so for this we are enabling the failover feature click on failover clustering say next and pretty simple process just install it alright as you can see the failover clustering has uh, succeeded uh, we'll have to add machine to the domain so I'll make those changes now before we do that let's go back and look at the network so here uh, let's check the network connections we have all of them I would like to see how is the uh, advanced settings press all to get the advanced settings as you can see wired hyper-v is naked and domain is on the, on the bottom so let's push it on the top so this helps domain nick to get the priority and domain resolution would be fast uh, i click on change system properties click on change let's add it to the domain I have not created a user CLS so let's go back to the domain and add the CLS user okay. we'll be creating a user called CLS for all the active directory user which will be used for cluster accounts go to manage service accounts I click new user Well, we have created the user. Let's give the user rights. Making it domain admin. We'll keep the process simple. Back. So we are back to the twenty-one. We are using the user CLS. restart while well, we are back restarted the machine as you can see we are on doc.com domain uh, log on with the user uh, CLS for rest of the activities let's go back and check the cluster well as you can see cluster is there uh, we are good to go repeat the same steps on cluster 2 and 
we'll see you in the next video where we'll configure the cluster for the two nodes.